Hey, what's going on, y'all? So in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at FaceGood Avatari software. Now, Jello just released this video right now, uh, which showcases the Seattle Light AR kit, the Seattle Light Meta Human Rig, and the Seattle Pro Meta Human Rig. So let's go ahead and check it out, and then we'll talk about it a little bit more later. Now, there's no audio in it, so it's okay. Your earphones are not broken. By the way, the person doing the demo right now is freaking talented. Some of those facial shapes are so difficult to do. It's not even funny. You should try it, but it's hard. Look at that, that lip bite. You even see the dimples on a Seattle Pro. It's crazy. That's so good. That that one's so hard. Ugh. Oh, he had to show off the tongue. Okay, I see what you're doing, Jello. Okay, so I absolutely love this demonstration because you can clearly see the AR kit's weakness compared to the Seattle Light and Seattle Pro. Some of those facial shapes you really can't even see on the AR kit, and that's what kind of like the iPhone uses. And that's why I think the face good avatar and face good helmet is a must for facial animation, especially for us starting out with. So... This is all fine and dandy, but what I'm going to show now is how this works. Like, all right, so what I'll do now is kind of explain what's going on and what's the big deal, really. So this is the Avatar Enterprise uh, software here. Uh, you can, you know, mess around with this here, but what we're looking for here is the live drive. And I'll go to 2D, quick pipeline for lightweight using. And what I'll do is kind of just overlay this on top so you can kind of see this. And I'll just turn this off. I don't, I don't need the preview. So... Basically what happens is in the live drive avatar, you have three options. You have the Seattle Light, the AR kit right here on the left. You have the Seattle Light MetaHuman, which is in the middle, and you have the Seattle Pro on the right side. Now, the Seattle Light AR kit is a pre-trained model that you can use with the FaceGood avatar software with your mocap helmet. What does that mean? Well, you can either drive the facial animation of the AR kit real time, which I think this is what they're doing, or you can just import a video offline and it's going to drive that facial animation using the AR kit blend shapes, which is good because you don't need to do any pre-training. You just slap the video on it. The team already did all the pre-training, all they can do at least, and you're good to go. But recently, Jello just added the Seattle Light Meta Human which has, metahumans have 600 plus, 650, 670 blend shapes on them. So that's a lot more, and you can clearly see it in this demonstration. Again, the Seattle Light metahuman does not need any pre-training model whatsoever. Jello, FaceGood already did or are still doing the pre-training right now. Again, this is great news because I can just buy the mocap helmet, turn on Seattle Light metahuman, click real time, wear the helmet, start talking, it's gonna stream directly to Unreal. Or again, I'm making a movie somewhere in a warehouse, I can record it offline and just import the video later and it's going to drive that MetaHuman again. And then on the other hand, the Seattle Pro is currently what I'm using right now. The difference is I had to give Jello some data of my face. I had to do a lot of facial animations so Jello and his team, amazing team, can pre-train the model for my face, can learn my face. And then I will then get that file they give me, which is gonna be a model, and I will import it here. So you can see I have a version 11 right here. So now you see the difference. Seattle Light AR kit and Seattle Light MetaHuman does not need pre-training. Jello are pre-training everything for you. And all you have to do is buy the mocap helmet, wear it, good to go. The Seattle Pro, you're going to need some pre-training done. Now, right now, the Seattle Light MetaHuman Rig is only available in the Enterprise version, so you are going to have to pay a little bit more. 
I believe the Seattle Light AR kit rig comes with the regular Avatari. Jello, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. And then the Seattle Pro, I believe that's also the Enterprise version. Okay, so with all that being said, how much is this going to cost? So let's go ahead and go to their website right now. All right, so here is the Avatari's website right now. Uh, they actually just remodeled it. And I'm going to go ahead and close this right now so you can kind of see it, right? So let's take a look at hardware real quick. So we have a P1 monocular system in a D2 monocular system. The P1 is a wireless system, right? Right here. The P1 is the wireless system, which is amazing. It shoots 60 frames per second, really lightweight. You know, I bought a belt for it. I've showcased this in the channel. If you want to check it out, go type FaceGood P1 JS Films and you're going to find it. This is the P1 helmet, which is wireless. This is for your indies out there, okay? So VTubers, YouTubers are going to be out as far as this goes, okay? Unless you have like seven grand, I think. Seven to $500, we'll take a look at it again. The D2 monocular system is 30 frames per second. This runs for like $400, $500. This is... $469. This is what everyone's going to potentially get. 30 frames per second. I've used it before. Still very good at the price point. $469 for an HMC is insane. All right. To put that in perspective, standard, standard deviation, whatever, sells their holder, iPhone holder for $1,200. Just the iPhone holder for your head. And that's $1,200. This is $469 for a helmet and camera. Just putting things in perspective here, people. This is a steal for this price. Now, I'm hoping that one day, Jello is going to get a D2 60 frames per second. Let's make that happen. All right. So let's go to the pricing now. Let's take a look. Avatari is absolutely free. All right, streamer supports recording with D2 and P1. I love this new website. Ah, it's amazing. Tracker supports 7,200 frames per month. Retargeter supports 7,200 frames per month. Auto face because you have that auto face rigor as well in here. They have that for zero dollars. You can try it now. Okay, and you have the Avatar starter, ten dollars a month, eighteen thousand frames. You know, it just goes up. Auto face is unlimited use. Tracker gives 9,000 frames. When people talk about democratizing the market, you see this model here? This is what that looks like. Because what I hate seeing is people saying our product is going to democratize the market. How much is it? $5,000 plus software. That's not really democratizing the market. Democratizing the market is a $469 mocap helmet and a free software. Change my mind. You're not going to be able to. By creating different layers, like what you're seeing here, they're opening, Facegood is opening the market for everybody. Mocap for all. I keep hearing that. Mocap for all. Mocap for all. But nobody's delivering that. But you're looking at it right here. This model is insane. Because you have a weekend person that just likes to do mocap. Hey, I'm going to do mocap this weekend for fun. And you have a little bit more serious one. You get a, another more, a little bit more serious one. And you have the, oh my God, this is my full time $199 a month. Okay, this is what democratizing looks like. Okay, and again, if you go down, you're gonna see a little bit more. I, man, I do, yo, one of one of the feedback I gave Jello last year was fix the website, and this looks incredible, bro. This this looks amazing. All right, so here is here is the face good, Avatar software. Let's take a look at the series, the helmet right here, all in one page. All right, so here is the hardware that we talked about. D2 monocular system, this is it for everybody, right? And again, I'm hoping one day we can get a 60 frames per second D2 helmet. And then the P1, the 2022 model, is $12,000, 1080p, 60 frames per second, 
wireless microphone, 200 meters wireless transmission, th 380 grams, up to six P1 simultaneous recording. Bananas, All right? So that is the face good system. So with that being said, I know that was a lot of exciting information. Right now, the Chinese version, the enterprise version, has the Seattle Light Meta Human rig in it, but they are still doing a lot of pre-training for those models. Eventually, they're going to come out with a worldwide avatar, which is going to be pre-trained for everyone. All right. So you have to understand when you're pre-training models, it's going to take a lot of time. So with enough time, I'm hoping that FaceGood is going to have a lot of different faces pre-trained so that we don't have to do it ourselves. Pretty much just buy the helmet, wear it, and then do the facial animation. I know that was a lot of information, but again, face good is something that you definitely want to keep an eye out because I just showed you. Democratizing the market is what they are actually trying to do. All right, if you all have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you all later.